Yo, hello? It's Povika Sana Revy here, and today I will show you how to make a glitchy text. If you want to enhance your editing potential, make sure to check out Revy's editing visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Also, if you want to support me as well, then my channel will be linked in the description. Let's begin. So, I remember one day I was messing around with Revy's CRT text, and I just came up with this text. So, I recommend checking out Revy's CRT text tutorial if you haven't already. First, you need to create a text. A lot of the settings will have to differ according to how big and long your text is. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll write text. The font I use is called Lemon Milk. You can download it from a website called The Font. I'm gonna make the size 89, my favorite number. Press on this, and I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna bring it to the middle. I'm editing in 180p, so for me, the middle is going to be 960 by 40. At the start, have the scale set to 72, and then press on this to keyframe. Add deep glow. You don't really want to make this a lot. Just make it a little bit. You can make it a little more if you want. Add another glow. This time, I'll just add a normal glow. Put it on top of deep glow. This is gonna be 36. Glow radius is going to be 220 and glow intensity 0.6. Add another glow, just the same glow. Add it on top of the other glow 45. Glow radius 52. Glow intensity 0.3. Add another glow. Here, make this 46%. This one, make it 0.3. Add CC Vignette. I'm going to move this a little bit to the side, but you can keep it in the middle. Add curves on top of CC Vignette. Make one frame on here and make one on here. Make this go up a little bit. Don't make it go too up. And this one, just make it go a little bit down. All right. Add CC Lens. I'm going to change the position according to my text, but for you, it's going to be different if you don't have a four letter text the size will be the same for you so 334 convergence make it minus 200 again adjust these settings according to what you have add the grid i'm gonna make the anchor 944 again this might be different for you go to size form make it the width and height sliders make width just two height four border make it one go to blending mode make it hard light now let's add gaussian blur make the blurriness free click on the repeat edge pixels let's add mosaic and make horizontal blocks 350 and vertical blocks also 350 check the sharp blocks add transform scale it up here so 138 for me i'll change this to 990 but for you it can be way different adjust so it's in the middle right now it's not gonna be in the middle but i'll change it later so it's going to be in the middle add btt damage tv here make the seed 32 signal strength 44 minimal signal threshold 49 let's add bulge this setting will differentiate most for everyone make it to what you think looks good with your text for my text i'll make this 780 this one 166 bulge height i recommend making it a little more than one that signal make random seed 35001 three, signal strength make it one now we need to go back to the grid effect and here where it's color don't make it white but make it black and here we go we have our text now we're going to want to scale up the text i'm going to go somewhere here i'm gonna cut this out and i'm just gonna delete because i don't want it to be this long and uh, here i'm going to make the scale 175 uh, I'm going to select both of these keyframes. I'm going to press F9. Go to the graph editor right here. In graph editor, you're going to want to make this very sharp. This, make it like really sharp hill. Maybe not too sharp. You also can press on this button, but you don't need to. It's going to make it smoother. If you want it to have a little blur, then you can press it, but I'm not going to press it. Now we're going to add some glitches to this. You can copy and paste your text. So copy, paste. We're going to start to need to delete some of the effects. So delete signal, delete bulge, delete delete btc damage tv delete transform and leave it until it's mosaic add btc damage tv and here we're not going to change anything now here you can type whatever text you want i personally wrote something longer so i'm gonna want this you can write like a secret word whatever you want you can also go back here and make the deep glow glow more let's make it go below this and let's find a good frame yeah so you see it goes down this is a really cool frame i think you just have to search for a cool frame press ctrl d to cut this part out delete it and we're just gonna select it to be a one frame and we're gonna go here cut it and delete it we have this one frame left you can just copy and paste this frame wherever you want first i'm going to paste it right here after the start so one frame is this and then the next frame is this go one frame forward and then one frame forward again i'm gonna ctrl c and then ctrl v bring it here go two frames forward i'm going to copy and paste it again here this is going to make a glitch 
And then I'm going to do another one right here. We can find also a random spot in the middle of the video. So this two seconds, I'm gonna find it in like one second. I'm gonna copy, paste it, and I'm gonna bring it here. For this, I'll make it go two frames forward. Mess around with this. You can paste a lot of this. It's gonna be really glitchy if you paste it all over the video. But it might look actually really cool. The last thing you wanna add is press Control alt y to make an adjustment layer. Cut it into one frame again. Add invert. You don't need to change anything. And you can just copy and paste it all over the video. I'm just gonna paste it in the gaps of this one frame. Maybe I'm going to make it go here. I'm going to go in the gap of this and I'm going to again copy and paste it and bring it here. And here we go. We have our glitchy text. You can mess around with many more one frames here, by the way. You can add effects like uni.glitch. You can add a lot of different effects from the one frame glitch tutorial. And if you want to spice this up even more, you can add a background from Revy's particle pack. It's out on editingvisuals.com. If you want to have a really cool background for your text, you should check out the pack. So I'm going to go to the pack. Most of these will look really good behind a text. I personally love colorful star explosion overlay. I'm gonna place it below everything. Now I'm going to press Control T on the layer. Here on the time remap, I kind of like it when it starts at 11.52. I'm going to go to the ending right here. I'm going to make it... 1402 and we have a beautiful text also now when it's going to be inverted there's going to be a white screen which looks also very cool and that's basically how to make glitchy text a nice recommendation is to add one frame glitches from the one frame glitch tutorial you can also add some blur at the ending of your text to make it look smoother don't forget to check out revy's particle overlay pack for some great text background also make sure to drop your suggestions for other tutorials in the comments or join revy's discord server and there you can suggest in a specific chat on the discord server you can also talk with the editing community get it editing opinions ask me questions and more i hope you guys learned something today from this tutorial make sure to try out adding different effects on top of the text because you might just make one of the best texts that anyone has ever seen all right it was fun make sure to have a productive day see ya